What is up guys, it is Lucas here. So I wanna talk about something that I kinda talk about in vlogs, but I also don't talk about in vlogs. And as you guys know, I am a figure collector. I do collect WWE action figures and some other action figures from time to time. But what I really wanna talk about right now is WWE and the fact that WWE has lost the rights to the Macho Man. Uh, for 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 more or less, that's what I'm understanding. I'm about to watch a Kyle Peterson video because I know that he has probably more info than like maybe like the same amount of info as probably like Matt Cardona and Brian Myers as far as the situation goes. Um, but what interests me is they were gonna release a defining moments figure for Macho Man. Uh, the re uh, not defining moments, an ultimate edition, excuse me, of the defining moments that they released back in the day. Like, I think it was like the first ever defining moments. Macho Man in the white and purple, which was my favorite gear of all time. Um, really love that. We were gonna get, excuse me, so much stuff with this figure. And, and now, apparently, WWE, uh, doesn't have the rights to sell his figure, at least, I know. Um, because they pulled that, they announced that yesterday, that they were pulling... Um, Macho Man from the the line with Randy Orton, so I don't know if we're getting a new one in that in that place. If we're gonna get a three next series, which I believe comes out in the fall, I think um, I don't assume they're gonna replace the Randy Orton um, or the Randy Savage figure for this wave because Randy Orton's already starting to ship to people. It's already up for pre order, so I don't know how that's gonna go. So we'll have to see, but. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit more after I watch Kyle's video, just because I wanna put my knowledge in after I learn, like my thoughts at least, my two cents, I guess. Um, so, really interesting. I'm very interested to see what, what goes on. Um, I know that Zombie Sailor Toys does have the rights to make Macho Man's figures, so they're making like the Savage Collection, which I'm assuming is gonna be like the six inch figure. I know they're doing like Jeff Jarrett and someone else um, in that wave. And there's going to be new uh, figures of Randy Savage coming out in 2024. So, yeah. I'm going to see what Kyle says. This is about a 15-minute video I have to watch now. I'm going to see what he says, and I'll get back to you guys. So, from what I understand, it sounds like there's no real official reason yet. Maybe with SDCC coming this week, we might find out something like, you know, potentially... Uh, you know, what happened. But uh, the rumor is that... Either the contract ran up or um, because Lanny Poffo did a lot of stuff for Randy um, after his death, uh, that because Lanny has now passed away, that um, things just kind of went sideways for WWE. It could have been a WWE thing. It could have been a Mattel thing. It's probably not a Mattel thing. It's probably a WWE thing. Um, so I really don't know. It's just really crazy. It kind of sucks. Like, I was super looking forward to that um, Ultimate Edition of Randy because that was such a good figure. WrestleMania 7, that was his retirement match, basically. Um, they already did the Warrior, I think, like, last couple series ago. So, you know, the fact that we didn't get the secondary of that figure or the second side of that match will we'll stink, you know. And I, maybe we will get it, you know, in a, in a year or two or something like that. You know, who knows? Maybe they'll make it a ringside exclusive, I could see that really happening. Give it a couple more accessories and a nice little um, package. That's what I would do. Like, if it's something like where, you know, it's a money thing for some reason, like maybe, uh, you know, if it's a money thing, like maybe go to ringside, sell it for 50 or $60 because that's what they, they'll, they'll get more money from it. Uh, I just don't know. Like, I, if it was, if it was, I don't think I'd go over 60 for that thing unless it included some really cool stuff like, which, I mean, it includes everything, uh, you know, for an ultimate. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? You know, the only thing for sure is nothing's for sure uh, on this whole situation. But it kind of just stinks. Um, yeah, I wish it was coming out. Doesn't look like it's coming out anytime soon. Um, what's up, guys? So I'm about to head to bed. Uh, it's been a pretty long day, but a pretty good day. At the, although a good day is what I tried to say. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to hit the hay right now because I'm super, super tired. Uh, it is like, I don't know, 1030, I think. I don't really know. I can't tell from here. 1024 maybe, is that right? Did I get that right? If I got that right, you have to like this video. I was very wrong. It's 1055. So, oh, it's because my uh, microwave, that thing, is not correct. So I will see you guys tomorrow as always. Song of the day. Pop, pop, 
Pomp and Circumstance um, by, uh, I don't know who it's by, but it's like Macho Man's theme song. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys had a beautiful day. Be excellent to each other. Peace.